create a path for us, a way for us to have a relationship with God, a way for us to be able to have God in our hearts and our lives and what we do on our daily walks. And that sacrifice given to us out of love and compassion. So that way we could know God's love, know His compassion, know His mercy, and share it with the world. But now it's time for us to do our part. When we reread Matthew 16, 24, what Jesus said. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anybody would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. As we take communion, we look at that. What it means to take up our cross and follow him. We look at the cross a lot different than what they did in their culture. We put it on our churches, on our signs. We wear it around our neck as a symbol of hope, a symbol of love, a symbol of salvation. But to them, that was a sign of death and torture. Only saved for murderers, thieves, the wretched of the world is what that was saved for. And they had to carry that up to their deaths. The only thing I can relate to is when you watch those movies where you have the mobster take the guy and he has to dig his own grave. Mm -hmm. You imagine sitting there digging what's going through your mind. Where did I go wrong? What did I do to get here? How could I have changed? What are the things in my lives? So when he says to pick up your cross, to pick up those burdens, to pick up those sins. What have you done to sin against God that you would have to carry that cross up that hill and die for it? And luckily we don't have to because Christ did that for us. So we can take that cross and get to the top of the hill and we can give it all to Him so we can know His love. <laughs> We can have salvation. We can have forgiveness. We don't have to worry about that death. We die in self. We must deny himself. Deny ourself. And give it to him. And live our lives for him. Because what he has done for us our turn to do something for Him. So when we take communion, when we remember Him, and we go through our day knowing the love of God in our hearts, remembering that it was that sacrifice that got us there, and now it's our turn to sacrifice for Him. So that way, we can live a better life, and we can share God's love, and we can give that grace and that mercy to the people that we see in exchange of our lives and who we interact with. And that's why Christ did it. That's why he was born, lived, teach, died, and was resurrected. So that way we could have a better life. Not just salvation after death, but a better life here in our hearts and create a better world and share that world with everybody. The Spirit of the Lord is in all of our hearts and we wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't be sharing this love and this joy of what He did for us. We think of it, the death, and I, I look at that every time I'm here. And that, that carrying that cross, carrying those sins, carrying those burdens, and taking that on for me. So that way, I can live a life without sin. 
I can give it to him. Not that it's going to be easy. It's not like he says, hey, just follow me. It's going to be easy. Clean slate. Because what's next is even harder. For whoever wants to save his life must lose it. Repent, for the kingdom of God is near. Take up your cross. Take those burdens. Turn another way. Live a better life. Take that shame and give it to Him. Give those sins to Him. Give all those burdens to Him. Feel God's love and the Spirit in your life. Allow it in. Allow yourself forgiveness. Allow the Holy Spirit to touch your heart. He can only do what He can. And it's up to you to open up to Him. <clears throat> But whoever loses his life for me will find it. You take those burdens, you take that cross, you die to self. You crucify yourself within the sins within for him. You'll find your life, your spiritual life lives forever. This is the one that always gets me. What good will it be for a man to gain the whole world? yet forfeits his soul. What good is it to have all the riches, all the cars, all the houses, all the fame, all the things of the world that the world says you need to be happy if you lose your soul on the way to doing it? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? think that that would be living for self, where you exchange that with my soul so I can have all this, so I can have what I want, not what God and Jesus wants for me. We take communion in that remembrance, and on this day, Jesus rose from the dead. He took all the burdens, all the sins of the world from that time, from before, all the way to the end. And everybody sins in between and gave them an opportunity to know God. Gave them a choice to turn to God, to turn to Jesus, to take up their cross and follow Him. It's not forcing anybody. Not making anybody do it. He gave you the choice, the opportunity to know God's love. And at some point in your life, you decided to receive that love and choose that love and turn to that love and accept that love. And we keep carrying that cross. We keep carrying that burden in this world. But yet, he gave us another opportunity to examine ourselves and give it to Him so we can move forward in the world. And through communion, He allows us to have that forgiveness and interact and have this interaction to be able to do that. And we can do that anytime when we gather. We do it Sunday and Wednesdays. We take that opportunity to connect with Him and recognize Him and say thank you to Him. And say, here's all the stuff I've been carrying with me. I don't want it anymore. I want to live a better life and give it to Him. So as we move forward in this day and we take communion, just open your hearts to God's love. Just open your life to the Holy Spirit. Jesus has already done the work. He already won the war. He already won the battle for us. Now it's up to us just to open ourselves up and allow Him in. Allow Him to do the work. Allow Him to heal us. Allow Him share God's love with you. That way you know God's love 
And no matter what happens in this world and in this life, there's nobody that can take that away from you. There's nothing that's going to be too big, too hard, too much of a struggle that you can't go through because you can give it to God and turn to Him and know that He's there working in your lives and in your hearts. It's a great day to be alive. A great day to worship Jesus. Amen? Amen. So as we move forward, I just want you all to feel that love and that joy that God gave to you and wanted for you. And in His acts of sacrifice, know His love. Because I know that I wouldn't be able to do that. Take that cross. Walk up that hill. Beaten and broken. And not done anything wrong. But to do it for the world and everybody else. That huge sacrifice. Because I'm not God. All I can do is share his message. Share his love. And that's what we're called to do. Will you pray with me? Lord, just thank you for this body of believers. Just thank you for their hearts, their love, their joy. You know their struggles. You know their hardships. You know that it's not easy. Just give them that love. Give them that healing. Open up their hearts so the Holy Spirit can start working in them. So they can start to heal. So they know your love and feel your mercy and your grace. We can make a better world by sharing it with all those that we meet. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.